Alright guys, so I thought I'd make this video just to explain about if you're flying the sort of small drones like this, like the Tiny Whoop or the Beta FPV uh, or the Red Paws even, if you're flying these sorts of drones, these sort of small, you know, indoor drones on the 1S batteries, you're really going to need to have a few tools uh, in your toolkit. And I just want to go through a few of these and why I use these. Um, so firstly you've got a screwdriver, you're always going to need a screwdriver to get these tiny screws here. You see these tiny little screws on the shell, you're always going to need to take this apart, especially if you damage the, uh, the soldering to one of these things by crashing, the, crashing into the camera or something, you're always going to need to take this shell off to fix it. So that's really important to bear in mind. Tweezers, again, tweezers are so useful for gripping parts of things when you're soldering and, you know, just in general, gripping parts of the drone as you're working on it. You're always going to end up having to fix these things and, you know, rewire parts or whatever. So tweezers are absolutely essential. I've got these little uh, these little nail scissors here. These are really useful for cutting little parts off the drone. You never think you're going to need to do it until you end up having to, like with this one for example, I had to change from a really weird old battery connector to a power whoop connector. So I had to solder it in, but then the battery thing wouldn't wouldn't accept. The battery compartment wouldn't accept the old battery, so I had to actually cut the plastic away and sort of secure the battery with an elastic band. It's not the idea, and even there you can see that I haven't used this for a while and the elastic band's actually snapped. But it's not the ideal solution, but what I'm going to do is get a very small sort of Velcro thing like the uh, bigger racing drones have and literally strap the battery in with a rubber grip tape. But yeah, either way, you need this sort of, these these uh, type of scissors to cut away the plastic in this case. Craft knife, this is pretty essential for any type of DIY thing, especially with drones. You're always going to need to like work on a drone, cut parts away and sort of cut it to size. Now, super glue, this is pretty essential for any, again, any crafts really, but specifically for drones, I like to use this if I need, if I need to mount something, like say if I needed to mount an extra aerial or, or something on the top of one of these things, super glue would be my first port of call, and then I'd maybe secure it with a zip tie. And then, of course, you've got solder. I haven't got the soldering iron out because, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. I always use soldering irons, uh, especially with these small ones. The connections always seem to come loose on these, so I always like to have a bit of solder handy just to uh, fix the connection myself. And then another thing, this isn't really part of the toolkit, but I always like to keep a, uh, a fire fireproof or a fire safe LiPo bag just because, especially when you have a lot of batteries like I do, you wanna make sure that they're not gonna suddenly catch fire when you're charging them or whatever. So I like to separate the batteries into this, uh, into this fire bag like this. So that's pretty much it. That is the toolkit I use for when I fly these small drones. If I need to fix them or put a new part on them, this is what I'm going to be using. So if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.